good morning and welcome back to the channel today we're in durham north carolina at bmw south point later today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2020 bmw 750i we're going to put this car besides the 2019 model so you can see some of the styling differences and we'll talk more about the horsepower in this new engine let's go take a look the 2020 bmw 750i you can see that massive grill on the front of the car this car has the driver pro package which you can see the sensor down there for the distance based cruise control it has the sensor here for the 360 camera and up in the windshield it has the cameras to keep the car in its lane i want to give you a comparison of this car versus the last generation the 2019 model so you can see the difference in the front end of both of these cars you'll see this car has a massive new grill on the front of it compared to the older model the other big difference in this car is performance. It has a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine, but the horsepower is up to 523 horsepower. That's 80 horsepower over the previous year. Torque's up to 553 pounds, and that propels this big sedan to zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds, and it'll do the quarter mile in just over 12 seconds. You'll notice with the big grill on the front, it's more aerodynamic looking. It's got more intakes on the side compared to this, the older model here. But the big difference is that big grill for that bigger motor. The other difference you'll notice is the lines on the hood. This looks like it has two lines going up on the hood, so it's redesigned versus the single line on the hood of the 2019. That'll give you an idea of the different design. This car has the laser lights. They're a $1,000 option. Uh, this car does not. So that's one of the options that's on this particular car. This car also has new wheels for 2020. Here's the rear end of the new 2020 750i. As you can see, these tail lights are totally redesigned for 2020. So you have a total different look in the back of the car. Compared to the 2019, which you can see it's totally different look on the rear end of this car versus the back end of the 2020. The 2020 also has redesigned wheels this year. And this particular car is an M Sport package car. So it's got the M Sport brakes, black wheels. Here's the interior of this car. It has a luxury seating package. So you can see it has the diamond pattern leather. It has the Alcantara headrest in the rear. And then it has the rear power seats controls there in the center armrest as well as memory seats down on the rear door. This has a Byron Wilkins stereo system in the car. And then if you look in the back here, it has the dual zone climate control for the rear passengers as well. It has the sun shades for the rear windows. Very plush interior, a lot of room. Let's take a look. I'm not very tall, but I have got a ton of headroom in the back of this car. This seat in front of me is almost all the way back, and I've got a ton of room in this car. We'll take a look around and we'll get an idea of the interior of this car. I'll go up and show you some of the controls, but it's got a new uh, display like in the X5, a new navigation screen like in the X5. Uh, it's all stitched leather on the center console. You've got rear AC vents here on the B pillars of the car. And here's the front seats of the car. See the power seats here. Let's get in and start this thing up and take a look at the new dash. As you can see there. Start stop button is right here. So you've got the new display on the car. You have the new nav screen. Controls are here. I still like the fact that you've got the si separate climate control left and right And you don't have to go up to the screen to activate those Another big feature is the charging pad has been moved to right here for the wireless charging versus back in the center console They've moved that up here uh, Here are your different drive modes sport comfort and eco pro This adjusts your suspension up and down and then you have your iDrive system right here for the car car has a leather dash on the interior the way around this car has heads-up display as well 
here's your driver pro plus package that drives itself it has a heated steering wheel very nice you see it has the M Sport logo stitching on the seat these are heated and cool seats There's the Byron Wilkins stereo system up on the dash. You can change this horsepower, the pounds of torque, your radio station. It's in comfort mode and park. Shows your miles per gallon when you're driving. So far it's average, it's got 24.5 miles on it, it's average 19. This car is rated at 25 miles to the gallon on the road. So even with the performance this car has, the fuel consumption is still pretty low on this car. At 25 miles to the gallon, that's excellent. You should have huge range with this car. Beautiful car. Appears to have like the glass dials. Here are the ceramic dials on the interior has the auto hold feature so you can activate that so when you come to a stoplight you don't have to keep your foot on the brake take your foot off the brake let's take one more walk around the car There are the laser lights. You can tell by that blue on the lights. That's the laser lights. Massive grill in the front. Compare that to the 2019. So you go 2019, 2020. car I want to thank Hendrick of South Point here in Durham, North Carolina for letting us look at this car today and show you the differences between the 2020 and the 2019 Ed Hagen has been here forever, and he's always taking care of me. So if you need a BMW, come and ask for Ed. He'll give you a no-hassle buying experience. And this car would look great in your garage. It's perfect. So with the new 2020 BMW 750i, this completes the package. It has everything. It's a luxury sedan. It's high performance. It's got everything you could ask for in a luxury car. This particular car has an MSRP of $124,000. It's perfect. I'll see you when we go to dinner. All right, we're going to do a casual dinner at Ruth Chris. Let's go. And here it is, Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Let's go in and have some dinner. So there's Kevin working hard at the bar tonight. So our food should be out shortly. And here's my gorgeous wife tonight at dinner. So this should end the night tonight. If you like what I did today and you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And I'll leave your comments below. And I'll see you on the next video. See you.